What up, Long Beach? Welcome back to GazetteSports.com. It's JJ and Tyler. And the top 10 plays of March are brought to you by Naples Rib Company. It was just a month of celebration here in the LBC as we were witness to 39 playoff wins at the college and high school levels. Fans and players alike got to dance around and celebrate. A perfect month, March is, to kick off our top 10. Number 10, more of a moment than a play. You don't have to play volleyball in the friendly confines of the Walter Pyramid. You can step outside of Long Beach State and get a little... Sandy. <laughs> this is an emerging sport at Long Beach State. First match in program history against LMU. They're really throwing this thing together, just bringing in bleachers as we go. You play five matches within the game, obviously two on two, and it was a 49ers sweep as the black and gold took every single set over the Lions. Haley Hampton putting it down. Chelsea Caberjack saying, you can look good playing this sport. Tremendous shades right there. We go to Honda Center for number nine. One point game under a minute left. Haley Manessis, beautiful step back. So pure against the shot clock. That would send the 49ers to the Big West title game. Great season for them. Mark them eight, dude. We go to more league softball. Lakewood and Wilson. Lakewood up one. Top of the six with two outs. Jessica Scroggins going to throw this one home. Her fellow sophomore, Rother, going to make the tag at the plate. That is a huge play. Not to be forgotten, Scroggins had the game-winning home run in this game as well. Tremendous play for Lakewood there to get the win. We move to number seven. Ventura against Milliken CIF Championship game. That is a firecracker from Joe Hernandez. Not a lot of highlights for Ventura, but they'll take that one. Uh, more from this game later. Number six. Josh Munzen with about four seconds left against Bullard in the CIF State semifinal. Oh, with the kiss! That is an unbelievable buzzer beater to head into halftime. Jackrabbit's getting some momentum in that one, but still not done with that game either, JJ. No, yeah, we'll be back to that one for sure. <laughs> Most deaf, number five on our plays. James Ennis. <laughs> what more can you say? That is a nasty throwdown. We could have put a lot of James Ennis dunks. Just relive that one. That is very friendly to the eyes. But we go to the dance. We go to Rip City. And after this steal, oh, bring the house down. <laughs> James Top 10 Ennis. Oh, man, that got the black and gold going. Looked like Long Beach had a chance to win that game. Unfortunately, they did not. But Ennis always going to be on top 10 with those dunks. Number four, back to that Milliken Championship game against Ventura. They set a record in the CIF final for goals as, ooh, Connor Johnson. Don't do it to him, young fella. They scored five in the first half on their way to a 7-2 to two victory. What? Touchdown and an extra point. That's how they do it. Unbelievable performance. Number three. This is just the, the best catch we've seen at Blair. Gabriel Quezada going over there towards the fence, running out of room. Oh, he makes the grab and sacrificing the body. Be an athlete, Gabe. That is not a comfortable fence to lean over, by the way. Uh, no, you do not want to seesaw on that bad boy. That's a heck of a grab for number five. Yeah, tip of the cap there. We go to number two. We told you we'd be back to that Bullard Poly game. Six seconds left. Looks like Jordan Bell saves the game with a block. Or... Not so much. For the love of inexplicable Walter Orr, just a crazy, insane, ludicrous, whatever you want to call it, buzzer beater, this play would be top the top play in Fresno for like three years, JJ. That is absolutely one shining moment for a high school basketball player. We go to college basketball where one shining moment indeed for LBSU's Casper Ware. And one. Oh my goodness. Gets Cerner to foul him on the shot. Gets Dan Munson to help him up. Gets 33 points in this championship game. Turning the Big West on its head. Where else could you put Casper except for number one in the month of March? He just took this game over. Would not let his team lose against UC Santa Barbara. You see the points, the assists, everything coming from Deuce Deuce. He just ruled the Honda Center. He was a master of his domain. Indeed, he was the entire domain. Look at that place. Just jumping with black and gold. And Casper, Dan Munson said it. You are a man tonight. He was an absolute man, all eyes on him, getting the, the camera love. He was all smiles. A, a long career for Casper Ware as you see him taking MVP, coming to a head in that uh, big win over UCSB. Yeah, like you said, March is a month for basketball. It should absolutely be Casper Ware cutting down the nets and capping our top 10 plays of March here in Long Beach. Obviously, all of your coverage of LBC Sports is right here because this is GazetteSports.com, and we are. Long Beach Sports. Stick around. I think it could be pretty good in April. See you next month.